Hey guys, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming, something to me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you with another Let's Play episode of, you guessed it, Tennessee Shuichi's Path. So guys, let's go ahead and jump right back in, shall we? Oh my, I may have to do some editing for the next video, but yeah, uh, <laughs> oh boy, this might be a big video. But guys, let's go ahead and jump right in, jump right back in. Please sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes while I entertain you. Let's go. Alright, <clears throat> ah, that, that's not a big deal. Are you sure? Your face doesn't look like it's not a big deal. I just had some problems. Nothing major. Uh-oh. I'm already familiar with this game. There is zero chance I'm going to hear that and we'll just drop it. What happened? Can't we just let it go? It's not important anyway. Are we really going to start a relationship by keeping secrets from each other? That kind of hurts. Now you're just playing dirty. I'm not gonna lie, I totally stole that line from a random TV show. I just want you to be honest with me, that's all. If it really isn't a big deal, then you have no reason to not to tell me. Fine. So, um, I didn't tell you this before, but after the volleyball finals, I got scouted again. Oh, so I already told me about this. I'll just act like nothing's happened, and I'll, and I'll let him tell me the full story. By, um, the Dakota Panthers. Heh, <laughs> the biggest team in the country, huh? Let me guess, you're gonna say no. Huh? I expected you to have more of a reaction. Oh, sorry, let me try again. Ahem. <clears throat> Wow, the Panthers? No way! When was this? Oh, what did you tell them? To which he stares at me with a dissatisfied look on his face, clearly annoyed at my reaction. I take back what I said. I prefer the earlier reaction. You get what you ask for. Now please, continue the story. Yeah, yeah, sure thing. Anyway, like I was saying, I got scouted by the Panthers and... Well, I guess I didn't really give them an answer then. I still had to wait... I still had to wait to... Uh, wait to what you said to me in my... I still had what you said to me in mind, I guess. I couldn't bring myself to say no. Oh. Oh, guys, uh... What I said? Be... Yeah, be firm, be firm. Okay, so... Yes, okay, so... Save this part right here. Okay, alright, there we go. <clears throat> okay. I have to admit, I'm happy that you were considering it. I don't want you to have to give up on your dreams. I want you to be honest with yourself about what you want. It's not that easy. You have an entire support system built around encouraging you to chase after your dream of going pro. I don't have that. I... You don't have to feel bad about it, though. It's not like it's your fault. Either way, the real issue is my dad. The scouts showed up yesterday morning while I was still asleep, so dad was the one that saw them. I hadn't told him about them showing up. I usually always tell him when I turn, out for, turn down an offer because it makes him really happy. But since I didn't turn it down, I thought I'd just keep it quiet. He wasn't happy about that. What? He can't be that unreasonable, can he? To which he merely stares at me with a sad smile on his face, as if he didn't want to say anything bad about his father, but at the same time not being able to bring himself to disagree with me. I feel a tightness in my chest when he looks at me like that. What happened? Well, he was pretty mad. Said he couldn't believe I was hiding things from him, that he, that he thought he raised me better than that. Isn't that ridiculous? He'd throw a fuss over such a small thing. I don't understand. Up until last week, I thought you weren't pursuing volleyball because you didn't want to. Now that I know it's because of your dad, it makes even less sense to me. Why would he be so against it? It's not a nice thing to say. What isn't? Twitchy smiles mournfully. By now, it's already become easy for me to spot when he's hiding his true feelings from me. It's so weird. The smile of his used to be so good at deceiving me before. But why is it that why is it that now I can see how fake it is so it is so easily? He doesn't like athletes, as they're all overpaid circus clowns. Among other things, that aren't nearly as nice. He hates the idea of me pursuing sports as a career. Says I'd end up as a drug addict when the fame went to my head. Can you believe he'd say something like this to his own son? What? That's ridiculous! Professional athletes are well-respected members of society! There's nothing wrong with being an athlete! Yeah. Not only that, it's not like the athletes themselves decide on how much they'll be paid. Payment depends on how much money they make for their sponsors and teams. There's no conspiracy to overpay them or anything. Yeah. And he's known me for 12 years now. He knows I've always wanted to go pro. So does that mean he also thinks I'm going to be some future drug addict with no future? Yeah. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what else to say. I can't believe Takahiko-san could hold such bad opinions of me, other a me and other athletes in general. And Shuichi was forced to grow up listening to this his whole life while secretly dreaming of going pro himself? That's... that's just too cruel. He said that since I was hiding it from him, then I must have meant I was considering it. I tried to deny it, but I guess he saw right through me. I'm not a very good liar, huh? So, so he tore into you for considering going pro? That's... That's... 
I want to say it's ridiculous. I want to scream about how awful it is. I want to call Takahiko saying every name in the book. But I know that even if Shuichi is upset over this, if I did that would only end up hurting Shuichi even more. It's strange. I had a feeling I had a, I've been feeling kind of confident in myself thanks to you. But all of it is gone. It's just gone now. I feel just as useless as I did before. You're not useless. Don't you know don't you know just how many people rely on you? No one would do that if you were useless. I'm not so sure. He looks so utterly defeated. What can I even say to him when he's like this? Uh, what was that? Thing? Ignore your dad? Agree with him for now. Guys, this is a big decision. Let me know if I mess this one up. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say this one right here. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Uh, agree with him for now. Uh, agree with him for now. Maybe, maybe you should just go along with him for now. You think so? What he's doing and saying is definitely unreasonable, but it's just easier to keep the peace, you know? I, I guess so. I was thinking of just doing that anyway. It's easier to just do what he wants. How often do you end up doing that? Conceding just not just not to not rock the boat? More than I'd like to. I do a lot of things with his temper in mind. He's not the easiest person to live with, you know? I, I still hate it, though. Like, inside my mind, I know I shouldn't, I shouldn't but whenever, whenever he tells me to do something, I freeze up in panic. It's easier to just agree with him and do what he wants. This situation bothers me. Before today, I never heard anything about Chuichi's dad other than him being strict. But this doesn't feel like just being strict. It's manipulative. They're trying to forbid your nearly adult son from pursuing his own dreams? This doesn't sit well with me. Does your mother know about any of this? Of course not. If she did, she wouldn't have just let it slide. Mama's too nice for this sort of thing. Why would why even think that? Why would you even... Blah. Why do you even think they divorced in the first place? I... I don't know. You promise you won't tell anyone I told you? Not even Hitoka knows. Yeah, you're kind of scaring me, though. He was a serial cheater. I, I caught him in bed with women a couple times. I should have told Mom about it right away. I wanted to, but he ordered me to keep my mouth shut, and I, I don't know how to go against him. So I kept quiet. It ate me up from the inside, but I don't. But but I didn't breathe. But I didn't breathe a word of it. Mom eventually found out about him a few years later and filed for divorce. She doesn't know that I knew. When it came to a time to decide on custody, I chose to go with him because I didn't think he deserved to be. I didn't think I deserved to be with Mom after what I did. Besides, Atoka is still young and I was able to shield her from the worst of it. Dad's mood swings and whatnot. I didn't want her to have to go through that. It's not easy. Well, it's your dad's actually a piece of fucking shit. So I thought it'd be fitting punishment for me, you know? Because whether, it, whether I wanted to or not, I had a hand in hurting my mom. Sho! His voice breaks, the words coming out slower and more labored. I can tell it is hard for him to continue talking about this subject, but it's like he can't stop. Once he started talking about it, he kept going until he managed to get all of it out of his chest. All of it out of his chest. I wrapped an arm around him and squeezed his hand, trying to say, "Hey, I'm here." Through my actions, I don't know whether I managed to soothe him or not, but I really hope I did. Shuichi looks down at his feet, trailing off eventually and going silent. He doesn't look at me. Whether it's because he feels ashamed, embarrassed, angry, or sad, I can't tell. But at the time, but at a time like this, I know I just need to do my best to try and cheer him up, as both his friends and his his boyfriend. It's scary how much easier it's been getting getting for me to admit that last part. But putting that aside, Sho, can you tell me more about this kind of thing? You mean about my dad? Yeah, what other things does he do or, or make you do? Sh Shuichi? Sorry, you. I'm not saying it's a definitive no, but can we leave this for later? I really don't want to talk about this anymore. I just want to distract myself. Is is that okay? Is is it that bad? I already have all sorts of horrible scenarios coming to mind. No, no, it's not because of that. It's just I'm kind of stressed, you know. I had to do a lot of chores for him to allow me to come here today and spend the night. And we we fought a lot yesterday. I wanted to relax and clear my head for a bit. Is that okay? Of course. What do you want to do? I don't know. The obvious answer would be scream, but somehow I don't think that would be an appropriate response. I can get you a pillow to scream in if, onto if you want. <laughs> I appreciate the consideration, but that's probably not a good idea regardless. Could we play something? I always have fun when we're playing games together. Yeah, sure, of course. So long as it helps you, so as long as it helps you, since there's no reason not to. <laughs> Thank you, Yuichi. I really appreciate it. You, you know, I did buy this new survival horror title that came out recently. Oh, I suppose that makes sense. You've always liked horror stuff. 
Yeah, either way, I haven't played it yet. Maybe instead of me playing it, we could have you play it and set it while I watch. Ah, like we used to do when we were kids and you bought that one about the ghosts in the mansion that you had to exercise. What was the name again? Mortem! Yes, that. It does sound like it could be a good distraction, engage a little in a little bit of that adrenaline and all. Do you want to prepare some snacks before we get into it like you used to? For sure, give me a second. I get up, heading to the kitchen to grab a bag of popcorn before quickly making my way back to the living room. Oh, you need you need drinks, man. Let's get this started. I'll turn on the console. S some time later. It's been quite a while immersed in the new game, slowly trudging through the opening segment as the eerie atmosphere starts establishing itself. Soon we find ourselves having to run away from abominations armed with nothing but a flashlight and a bunch of hiding hiding places spread around the maps. Shit, he found me! Run, 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 tries jumping out of the dumpster he's been hiding in, but is swarmed by a group of enemies and slaughtered before he has a chance to get very far. This game certainly isn't afraid to get graphic, either. So much for that. How many was that now? Three? Five? Ugh, I think I'm done for now. Sure, is there any other game you want to play? Hmm, I think I'm done with games. Using the controller, Shuichi shuts off the entertainment system and the television. What do you want to do, then? Well... Oh, no. No, I knew it! Ah, oh, bad husky! He leans closer to me, wrapping his arms around me and pulling me up, placing me down on top of his lap. His arms wrap around my waist and his chin resting on the back of my shoulder. Wah! <laughs> you said Akikun isn't home, right? Yeah, I did. Is he suggesting... Can I just hold you like this for a bit? Oh, just meant cuddling. Yeah, uh, of course you can. Thanks. Chuichi's left hand slowly rubs my stomach, the sensation very tender and pleasant. He nuzzles my neck with his cheek, obviously seeming very pleased with the situation. I, I do have to admit that it's really nice. I still feel a bit of self-conscious, but I, I really like it. You're really soft, you know? Holding like holding you like this is so comfortable. <laughs> Thank you, it does feel nice. Although, aren't I a bit heavy for you? Nah, you're deceptively light. Here. Chuichi tightens his hold around me and starts bouncing me up on his leg with very little effort. Oh, what are you doing? See, I told you you're really light. This, no, this, no, this just now... There's no way that was totally innocent. You really shouldn't do that out of nowhere. It's really bad for your heart. <laughs> bad for your heart, huh? Oh, sorry. Bad for my heart, okay. Oh, sorry, I didn't think you'd mind. After what he pulled during the festival, I don't believe for even a second that he didn't mean anything by it. It almost felt like he was bouncing me on his... Oh, nope, no, 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 bad thoughts go away. This really isn't good for my heart. You, you okay? You seem a bit out of it. Yeah, I I'm fine. I can't let him know I'm feeling embarrassed. I lean back a bit, increasing the contact between my back and his chest, moving a hand down to caress his arm. Oh, I take back what I said, you seem pretty into it. There's nothing wrong with indulging myself every now and then. Besides, you're plenty soft yourself, too. Huh, <laughs> is that so? You can use me as a pillow if you'd like. By the way, you smell really nice. Sweetie takes a few whiffs of with his face on my neck, quietly kissing me. That's kind of a weird thing to say. Is that so? I'm still new to this, so please let it slide this time. Let it slide? You don't even have to be upset about the faux pas. Why should I? Is that how it's going to be? Do I need to utter a thousand apologies to make up for it? Nah, just 500 will suffice. Just 500? My, my, you're feeling so generous today. Switchy hugs me tighter. Something, somehow it feels like we're just joking around like we always did, except in a more intimate way. A sort of thing doesn't bother me in the slightest. Is that weird? Yes, I am gener I am a generous god, after all. A god? Someone's self-confidence seems to be soaring today. Uh, I know... I know of my own charms. Chuichi snorts, patting me atop the head with a smile. Yes, yes, you are my Prince Charming, after all. Does that mean you are the princess? Nope, I'm the even more charming king that seduces the prince. Boy, what kind of fairy tales did your parents read you as a child? <laughs> this is nice. Hmm? What is? This. Us. Uh, things seem to be going really well between us and all. I, I get that we only just started dating, but... I don't know. It it's surprisingly low stress. Maybe because no one knows yet? Th that could be it. Oh, um, about that. I suggest you hold that thought. Huh? W why? Saya-chan messaged me recently. She told me she talked to you about it, and, and you confirmed it. She was all excited and congratulating me and whatnot. It was amusing. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Everything that happened after distracted me so much. It's okay. Besides, Saya-chan already knew I liked you for a long time, and she's really perceptive. It was a matter of time. And I couldn't imagine us hiding it from our friends if things went that went well, so... So you're not mad I told her? 
Not at all. If anything, it makes me happy because it means you were comfortable enough with us to confirm when she asked. Oh, really? Man, that's a relief. I was worried you'd be upset I didn't consult you. Well, it'd be nice to have been asked, but I won't complain too much because I'd like the end result. You could keep it in mind, maybe? <coughs> Oof! But right, I I'll keep it in mind. You don't need to worry too much, though. I'm not upset. Right. Why does it feel like even when I do something right, I found a way to mess it up? At least I think that's everyone who knows. Unless someone else on your side knows. But no, just Aki. I hope. My heart can't take someone just springing it on me out of the blue much more. How did Aki can take it anyway? Was he okay with it? Wait, what? Very much so. I kind of felt anti- it kind of felt I kind of felt anticlimactic even. It was a real letdown. Are you seriously complaining about your brother being accepting? First world problems much? Shut up, this is all very new to me. I have a right to grumble about it. I don't think he told Aki. I don't remember that, guys. Do you remember that? I don't I don't think he told Aki that he was with Sho. Interesting, huh? I don't know about that. Hey, Shuichi, can, can I ask you a question? He squeezes me slightly lightly and leans forward, his face almost side by side with mine. Sure, although, should I be worried? You haven't called me Shuichi-kun since, hell, I can't remember when the last time was. Oh, right, sorry, I, I don't know why I called you that all of a sudden. Are you okay? Um, well, I just have doubts, a doubt of sorts. Like, what do you call yourself? What do I, uh, huh? Um, Shuichi? Uh, no, I didn't mean it like that. More like, well, your sexuality, what do you call that? That... Why does the label even matter? Just humor me, please. I call myself gay. Isn't that pretty obvious by now? So, you only like men? I suppose. One second, guys. You... you suppose? Well, I've never really had feelings for any guys other than you, as far as I know. I'm not attracted to women, but I don't have much experience with that sort of thing. Unless you're ask Unless you're... Unless you're asking what kind of... Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 no, 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 I don't need to know that. Sheesh, calm down, you don't need to throw a fit. That's a bit too much information. You're the one who asked. I didn't ask about that. Does it bother you? Well, not really. You're free to enjoy, okay. No, not that, you dumbass. I mean, your question about my sexuality. Does something about it bother you? Oh, right, of course you mean that. What am I thinking? Um, how do I put this? Your sexuality doesn't bother me. I guess I'm just struggling with what to call myself. Do you even need to call yourself anything? Well, yeah, I can't just leave it up in the air. Really? So long as you're with someone you really like, what does it matter? Unless you want to explain it to people, in that case a label definitely makes it easier. I just prefer to have things in black and white, okay? I like having everyone well-defined. Twitchy's right hand goes up to my face. He cups my chin in it and gently moves my head so I'm looking up, looking to the side. He kisses my cheek, stroking my fur and nuzzling my neck. The gesture is so incredibly sweet I can feel my face getting hot. You don't need to worry so much. Go at your own pace and think things through properly. I know I sprang a lot on you since we first started dating, and there's a lot you need to adjust to. Thank you. I'm more just trying to figure out this out for myself, though. Well, what do you think? Are you bi? I don't know. I've never really felt a never really felt attracted to any girl, or to any of my exes. I just dated them because it was easier to say yes and go with the flow over dealing with the guilt of saying no. I sincerely hope that's not what you're doing to me. Of course it's not! I actually like you, you big lug! Aw, oh, big lug? That's the sweetest thing I've ever heard. You get the feeling I'm being mocked. Jokes aside... If that's how it is, then you might just be gay after all. Alright guys, I'm gonna pause it right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and that notification bell. Leave a super thanks, or if you can, it always helps. Guys, let me know if I'm on the correct path to get the best uh, show ending. Please let me know. Alright, I love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye